if people don't have a structured program that's progressive, then you're just opening up yourself to risk of injury. So I think the main thing that people get wrong is is the progression isn't isn't planned. You know, we we we, we don't want to run before we walk. So most pre seasons should just be about you know accumulation of stress with some unload, so the body can really um, adapt. And then we accumulate load again, and then we 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 unload and. And I think that progression of load and intensity is really, really important. So I think, you know, it's a progression of volume of work, but also intensity of work. Um, we know we want to, you know, maybe in the last four weeks of the pre-season be really humming and be at a really good load, knowing that we're getting the best money in the bank we can, and then we button off before we hit the competition. But we don't, we can't, we can't do three months of that. We need to progress to that. So that's probably the, the most important thing. You know, because every time we're injured, we aren't able to practice the skills, which we mentioned earlier, that make us a better rugby player. And, and I think that, you know, philosophy I have is, is it's really easy to sweat. It's really easy to work hard. It's far, far more difficult to improve your skills. And, and so that's where, you know, progressing your volume and intensity in the pre-season alongside some skill development is massively important.